YouTube, my name is Leilani, and today I'm gonna share with you my five favorite board games and a bonus one, a bonus one, of course. And I did try to pick out some board games that you probably have never heard about before. I'm, I'm hoping that you none of, none of these people in the club have it in their list as well. So pretty uh, hidden gems, so to speak. This is a collaboration, like I mentioned before, with Katie over at Life in the Mundane. She's amazing. If you have not checked out her channel, it is full of information, curriculum review, game review, book review. She also understands what it is like to be a parent of a special needs child and homeschool them. So the first game that I am going to mention, it is called Pling Plong. This is a really fun game. It's, it kind of reminds me of a party game, but it's only four players at one time. So I'll show you this without setting it up. I don't know if you can see it on the back, but you set it up into four different compartments like that. The goal is to keep as many of your colors on the board as much as possible. So when you throw the ping pong, it's supposed to get in somebody else's cup and you take their cup out. It's actually a really, really easy, simple, fun game to play and my kids absolutely love it. It's one of those, and it's quick. So it's one of those games that we pull out and we're like, let's play a game and we really don't want to think about anything. So let's just throw a ball in a, in a container like this. It's actually really fun. There's some strategy, the balls bounce, you know, all the things. It's fun. There's lots of laughing and there's lots of, you know, that kind of stuff. This is another fun game that we have only owned for a year. And as you can see, that it has been loved. Very much so. Now, see, I'm not going to get everything out because it's just going to spill in my lap. Like that. I thought it was funny until I realized that I'm going to have to clean it up. The point of this game is, is it's a two player game, first of all, and you have a little scrambler, scrambler right there. You mix the scrambler up and you have to match that somewhere on your board by sliding these little tiles around. Super simple, fun game to play. My kids love it. It's a quick one too. So, of course, all these games are gonna be listed in the description box below, so you can find them easy. And if you wanna buy them, you can buy them. Next game, after I clean up this mess. I will say a wise thing to do with this game if you purchase it is to get a Ziploc baggie and put the, the tiles in the baggie. Um, that just makes life a little easier so you don't have to do what I just did. <laughs> this game is called Ice Cool and as you can see it has won a ton of awards because it's that fun. Without pulling it out because it doesn't take long to set up but there is you know some time to set up you are creating a nice little board which is where all the penguins live and you are supposed to flick them and there's like techniques with the flicking, right? You flick them and you're supposed to get fish and the person who gets the most fish is the winner. Of course, there's a little bit more to it than that. There's cards involved that give you some direction. It's just, once again, this is a really simple game that your kids can just take, go in the corner and play, and you don't have to supervise it. And it's a quick one too, which is done. It's a fun one. Just to kind of show you the pieces, this is an example of one of the penguins and you just, there's a flicking technique. They even have instructions on how to flick properly. <laughs> Cause that's the thing. That's the thing with this game. Didn't know there was a game where you flick. Now you do. I also love how this box, when you open it up, I mean, it's kind of a mess right now, but everything just kind of fits so perfectly inside of it. So when they designed the box itself, they really did a good job. Now this one is also a party game and I have had this thing forever. <laughs> I've actually had this before my kids were born. It's called Imagine If, and for some reason, this is the game, my go-to game, whenever I'm like, hey, company's over, let's play Imagine If, because it's really fun to imagine if other people in the room. Okay, this one I have to open the box for you. You're gonna get a stack of cards and on the board itself, there's a circle and you're going to write the names of every single person that is playing the game. If there's some extra ones left over, you know, you can add some names in there of people that you, friends that you mutually know. It's really fun, okay, especially if you get like, you know, grandma. So then you're gonna roll the dice and you're gonna move your pawn 
around the circle, you're gonna land on a person, and then you're going to read the question. And so it says something like, uh, imagine if Hannah was a dental procedure, which one would she be? And then you say, one, cosmetic whitening, two, regular checkup, three, gold tooth, four, root canal, five, braces, six dentures, and then everybody votes by picking their card and putting it down. You want to pick the number that you think the person thinks of themselves. So I said Hannah, right? Hannah doesn't get to play that round in a sense, but let's say she picked two. She thinks that she is a regular checkup. Everyone in that room, let's say three of them put two down and other people put numbers. Every person that put that number two down gets a point, right? Super simple. For the most part, most of these questions are, are appropriate. Of course, you could take it in any direction you want. That's You could do that with anything, really. Here's another one, right? Imagine if Hannah were one of the seven dwarves, which one would she be? Sleepy, sneezy, dopey, grumpy, bashful, donk. Of course, if you find some that are inappropriate, of course, you can pull those out because there are plenty that are not inappropriate. And it's a really fun game. It's my go-to game. The next game that I'm gonna share is Ion. I don't know if I've ever shared this game with you before, but this is when the nerd in me starts to come out. It is a compound building game. Chemistry. Whoop! Just saying. Whatever. Chemistry is pretty darn cool. Especially when you can play it like Sushi Go. Have you guys ever played Sushi Go? This game is identical to Sushi Go, except chemistry formulas. <laughs> So here's your cards and basically you're building them and getting points. It's a little bit more complex and it's going to take, you know, maybe the upper elementary, middle school, high school kid to really appreciate it. Oh, but it is fun, especially if you need to work on familiarizing yourself with the words of different elements. And yeah, so you've got stuff in here like uh, hydrogen, hydroxide, sodium, helium, a really fun game. And look, they got, they got a little bit, it's so much fun. And bonus game. I'm calling it a bonus game, cause y'all are gonna be like, oh yeah, cards. You guys get a stack of playing cards. If you celebrate Christmas, shove it in the stocking. Because I cannot express to you how many games you can play with a stack of playing cards. You can play them by yourself, play them with a friend, like it, there's no ending to playing cards. I, we challenged ourselves one vacation where we just started Googling different playing card games and learned a bunch of them. It's endless, endless. And you know what, if you get bored of a game, you can always go back to another game. Playing cards. You, I cannot stress playing cards. So that's it for this video. If you're not watching this with the playlist, you need to now go to my description box and click on the playlist and check it out and watch all these other mamas and possibly dads share some lovely, wonderful gift ideas, board game ideas, educational, non-educational, you know, just they're all educational anyway. So just enjoy all the things, guys. So thank you, Katie, so much for inviting me. me the, the. So thank you, Katie, so much for inviting me to this collab, and I'll see the rest of you guys in another video. Bye.